Begin tonight with breaking news as the Israeli military prepares to defend against a drone and ballistic missile attack from Iran. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Maggie Newland. And I'm Greg Funderburg. President Joe Biden cutting his weekend short to return to monitor the situation. Are going off in Jerusalem and there are reports of explosions in the sky. As Christian Benavidez reports, the U.S. military is moving a warship and other assets to the region to protect American forces. Iran has launched dozens of drones headed towards Israeli territory, an IDF spokesperson confirmed Saturday. This is a severe and dangerous escalation. Our defensive and offensive capabilities are at the highest level of readiness ahead of this large-scale attack from Iran. Earlier, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, in an address to the nation, said, Our defense systems are deployed. We are prepared for any scenario, both in defense and attack. U.S. officials believe Iran's attack could include more than 100 drones, 150 cruise missiles, and even ballistic missiles used for long-range strikes. President Joe Biden, who was in Delaware for the weekend, cut his trip short to head back to the White House to meet with national security officials, despite recent disagreements over its response in Gaza. At a press conference earlier this week, the president said the U.S. stands with Israel. We are devoted to the defense of Israel. We will support Israel. We will defend, help defend Israel and Iran will not succeed. Iran is looking to retaliate after an airstrike on the Iranian consulate in Syria two weeks ago. Seven military officers were killed. General Frank McKenzie, former head of Central Command, says there is real concern an Iranian attack could lead to wider conflict. If there's a significant mass casualty event inside Israel, then I think the possibility of escalation is very, very high. Israel has limited gatherings and is recommending its citizens to stay near safe rooms and shelters. Cristian Benavides, CBS News. And the U.S. says it has shot down some of those drones launched by Iran. And, of course, we can only imagine just how tense conditions are in Israel at this hour. I spoke to a pastor with the United States delegation of pastors and leaders touring Israel this hour. Tennessee Pastor Virgil Henderson says they have been in the country over the last several days ministering and promoting peace. He tells me they're holding on to their faith tonight. Uh, my initial reaction was a little worried, but I read assured in my the person who I believe is God that he's going to take care of us he's keeping us and he makes a, a promise that he's always that he kept Israel the one that keeps Israel is going to keep us to continue to uh pray for us and uh just keep everybody aware of the situation we want to we want to come back home we want to be back home with our families Pastor Henderson says they're hoping to get back home very soon.